Hello there, fellow space captains. This is Connor, and welcome back to Dreadnought. Here we are, once again. Don't know why my voice went like that. I was trying to keep it deep, keep it cool. But then it went all high-pitched and bitchy all of a sudden. Anyway, welcome back to Dreadnought. Right, now I'm just going to be playing a game here where I'm derping around in the Kitsuna because I want to get the Onager. I really want it here for artillery cruiser. And because Jupiter Arms are the sexiest manufacturers in the galaxy, I thought it couldn't be anything else other than... What do you call it again? Ah, yes. The Onager. The Onager. But this is, of course, the Ballista, which I have lovingly named the Kitsuna, which is Japanese for Fox. What did the Fox say? Nothing, because he got fucking shot in the head for being an annoying dick. True life lessons. What is this? We got elimination on dry dock. Elimination. Interesting. So yes, uh, recently the guys over at Dreadnought released a roadmap for what they hope to implement by 2018. There were a number of different uh, hopeful additions, such as the matchmaking being fixed, so that uh, no longer will you be a tier 1 and a tier 4 and 5 match, unless of course you idiotically set up your fleet to have a tier 2 ship in a tier 5 or you know 4 loadout which is going to happen you know what's going to happen it, it's, it's always going to happen it's an online game um they're, they're going to try and make the progression less of a grind hmm i believe yes we'll see we'll see when it happens uh as well as other things like uh, making the game more social and by that i mean let's say you have a really good game and let's say you want to play with these people again. Similar to an Overwatch, how you can key up with uh, a team that you've played with previously, you're going to be able to do that in Dreadnought, which is nice. Let's see, is that a ship? It is, yep. It is indeed. Oh, you dirty big bitch. That hurts. That hurts. Ah, oh, God. Get me out of here. Okay, what was I talking about again? Yes. Stuff's gonna happen. It's all good. But yeah, there, there are... I haven't really went into too much detail in depth, really, with these hopeful changes. Because, you know, they haven't really fully ironed out everything yet themselves. Fucking hell, I am not focusing here, and I got killed because of it. Right. So, what do we want to do? Let's go! Our sport. Let's give our allies some heals. Elimination has gotten old really fast whenever people take advantage of healers. Don't think they're doing it in this one, are they? No. Well, we don't know. There's three enemy ships unaccounted for. All three of them could be tacticals, but I don't think they are. So there's one, two, three. Well, we're certainly taking advantage of it. Fucking arseholes. You disgust me. Let's go explore. Right, okay. So, one, two... The ship's falling to pieces. We can't hold two. Together. Okay, that's fine. Something else they're going to be implementing in the next uh, few months are... AA players in player versus player games. Yay. Yay. I mean, I can see why. Their reasoning is that because there are very few tier 5 players in Dreadnought, people aren't really getting to tier 5, that um, you'll need to actually play against bots or play with bots just so the queues aren't ridiculously long. And I have a fix for that, but because they've already mentioned something about the progression and trying to improve it, I can't really say anything just yet. But the reason people aren't getting to tier 5 is either because the grind is such a it's such an amazing bitch to get there, that people are just giving up, or, yeah, the grind is just annoying people so they're giving up. Or, because people are in tier 2 ships going against tier 4s, 
they're not playing the game the way it was intended, so they're just giving up. Because it's unfair. So, hopefully whenever all these changes are made, if they're made, it'll breathe new life into the game. And I can only hope it does, because uh, I don't want the game to get less, le less and less popular. I want it to get more popular. But I don't want to go into their heads, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's uh, change ships here. Let's go Demeter. Why the hell not? I was going to go Valkyrie, but uh, no. Alright, so trying to give some priceless advice there in the chat. No three healers this time, dicks. Are there? Are there? You'll live this time. I think if the grind was less of a grind, hence the name given to it, grind, then the game would be a lot more um, appealing to people who currently already play the game, like myself, and to people who have not yet played the game, are interested in the game, pick up the game, realise how fucking terrible the grind is, put the game down. I don't ever think I'm going to get any sort of sponsorships or any shoutouts by the guys over at Jaeger or Dreadnought because I'm a bit of a dick <laughs> when it comes to this game, but I rip on what I love because I don't want it to get any worse. Money ruins lives. Money can save lives, but money ruins lives too. It ruins ideas and money destroys creativity. Simple as that. What was I doing with the freaking plasma? Connor, you idiot, you. Oh, missiles incoming. Lots of missiles. Lots of missiles. Come on. Come on. Holy shit. Lots of missiles. Luckily, I've got anti missile systems engaged. Oh my god. Oh my god. So close. We're fine. We're, we'll survive. There we go. Yeah, let's uh, plan our next move. Oh! Oh, is he looking at me now? <laughs> should we go? I think we should go. No, dude, why are you shooting at me? Ignore me! You son of a bitch! Oh, was he trying to turn, is he? He's trying to! He's trying to! I'm not going for you, though. I'm not going for any of them. I need to get out of here. That dreadnought is ruining my day. Why do you have to look at me? Why can't you just ignore me? Like the rest of the ladies in the world. Right, so okay. I want him. I want that artillery cruiser. Casa Luma. You know what? I'm going for him. Screw this noise. Cowards die. Sorry, heroes live very short lives. Cowards live very long lives. Come on. Why did kinetic we weapon amplifier not activate? I freaking pressed the button, god damn it. God damn it, I hate this system. The buttons are so unresponsive and the UI is just not slick or sleek or slack. Damn it. That could have all been avoided if my fucking ability worked when I press number one. You know, one thing Dreadnought just really needs is a lot of polish. It's a good game. Just needs heavily, heavily polished. No, don't... Ah, uh, damn it, Tesla freaking things. Oh, I can count, thanks, bitch. Sorry, sorry, not bitch. Bix. <laughs> Always make that mistake. Is that a... Is that a lost game, is it? 
Don't play the game. Yep, listen to that uh, fruitful advice from Deep Horizon there. Don't play a game. I did horribly there. Horribly. Absolutely abysmally. But that was just a quick video. Just wanted to let you all know that I know about the um, roadmap thingamajig. I'll put a link to it in the description below. There is another video coming today, so don't worry about that. Just thought I'd get a quick gameplay one up um, and just run through quickly what some of the hopeful changes will be. But uh, yes, if you enjoyed the video, good. Good. Uh, and if you'd like to support the channel and myself, um, then you can check out my Patreon link below, as well as a one-time donation link below. So don't feel pressured into doing so. But if you did, it would honestly help me out quite a bit. I might actually get to eat today. You never know. But, yes, thank you all very much for watching. And I, of course, like always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Good day, loyal citizens of the Empire. Today, the Emperor has employed a system that will allow you to support the latest Imperial endeavours. Click the link below to support a safer and brighter future for every citizen of the Empire.